Good morning, Night City. Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood, thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed, cause the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams.
yo, my Jewish shroomers and viewers, Mr. Whitey here. Drop that A little anesthesia. Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. You really think somebody local will try to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V. I got a problem. Serious this time. Found yourself a hole, it sounds like. You need help? No, I could count on you. It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he'd bust my legs. He don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint, deserved the hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. I'll talk to Kirk. Then you're gonna owe me one. You're saving my life, V. Truly. What's up, Chu? Want some? Hello. You gonna help me out, V? Hey, what's the best? Fuck, I'd man. take a trip somewhere, you know, for right? checking exactly. Two bottles of scents on short last delivery. Javi's got some broken ribs, but praise Jesus, the bullet didn't hit any organs. What happened? A police manhunt. They were chasing some dealers. So he had it coming, eh? Hey, Kirk. He was just standing. Wanna talk? Standing, understand? V. Been a while. Spin it. What you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. What, he too shot a hand over the Yetis himself? Uh, tell him I don't fight. Not yet. Cut him some slack, will you? He'll pay. Just need some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's, you gotta pay him back. With interest. It's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No, you let him off because it's me asking. Huh, <laughs> you know me. I'm a man of the bids. So I need to know what I get out of it. Transactions go two ways, I get that. I'll owe you a favor. Tempting. Got a Nova idea already. Mm hmm Cream ride there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. One, Rayfield Regional Director. Two, Mayor Ryan. Three, a rental service. Uh-huh, and four? Number four will belong to my client. 
just as soon as you clap it for me, that is. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared? Of course! I'm a man of my word, you know that. Whole thing simple. You swipe the ray field for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers, club where our Rayfield driver likes to kick it. There every Friday night, like clockwork. As soon as you appear, security cam shut down, gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the Rayfield and roll out. Simple. How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. <laughs> Come on, Kirk, even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. Best keep your word. Kirk. Easy, V. Job's gonna pad your wallet, too, you know? Head to Ember's in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. Be waiting for you. You two will hit it off. Good luck out there. We'll be in touch. Bet Alice got my phone. Man, it don't matter. Bet Alice, Ryan, suits from the same circle. Nah, Bet Alice is different. But no, ain't getting a Bullshit. I can afford. Potato. New fat ass motherfucker. Hey, why do I see no goddamn lemons? No goddamn limes? They're in there, for sure. Spare a veteran some change. So you're a vet today, huh? <laughs> What can I say? War stories rake it in. Cybernetic guard comes to the virus shelter. Don't be ready. Yes, Padre. Well, who do we have here? We? Long time. Didn't know you were around. You just... Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See, you got a good down-home welcome. How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard it, Marcus. Your return to NC has been good. Busy already. Eh, I pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So, Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected, huh? Went there without expectations, actually. Well, except that it'd be better than here. It wasn't. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. Stop the car. What's going on? Business. You carry it?
Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz, once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Done deal. No more restless nights. See how generous I can be? Well, Patty... One more fucking word. Stay out of this. I don't know you. And I don't know you, which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Marcus, please. Pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still have to live. So many of the little shits left around here. This spite was so often they looked at the barrel. Who was that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. Pull up here. Right here. I'll just drop down below. Here, before you go. Your number could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Gotta go. So go with God. Find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. Yeah, something I can help you with. You Rick? Yep. You with Kirk? Yep. Camera's blind. You got 20 minutes. Kirk, I see the ride. Your moment to shine, kiddo. Good luck. Deck for a world. You're a man of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. I'll tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze.
Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. See you haven't grown an ounce white. Hey, Detective Stitz. Been a while, huh? Inspector Stitz. Same shit. Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. Come on, yeah? spit it out. I'm you waiting. to me. Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. You know, fuck all about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your talk. I'm not a patient man. Come on, Stance. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up, then just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. Oh, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fuck ordinary yeah. street trash. Got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let him go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff legs broken so this trash doesn't flow. You heard him. <sighs> Fuck. Honestly, for a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. Nah, Stintz wouldn't do us like that. You sure about that? Mm-hmm. He's Hayward born, bred, and grown like us. Hates suits as much as you do. Did what he had to do. That's it. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. Nah, come on. Job was toxic from the start. Even Kabuki under the counter magic can't get around an alarm like that. Should have known I'd have the PD on my ass. So, maybe now, as God ordained, Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Got the job to steal those wheels at the Coyote. And Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe wasn't big and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Man, gotta wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El Cabron's gotta learn. He don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on. Let's go have some lunch. Lunch? <laughs> you would not believe my mama's chili. Best in town. Getting one of my good feelings. About what? About us. It's a kind of chemistry, you know? Come on. I'm fucking starved. Okay. Food it is. Let's go. Another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, 
I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gods will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. Legends know where you'll find most of them. The graveyard matters not where you're from, matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk in Night City, the city of dreams. The chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Sure. Why the hell not? Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your reflexes. The skills you gain here, I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to your advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because App Militech... Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now, Station One, you maggot! Move, move, move! Hope you're ready to bust that. Let's blast through a tactical target practice program. You know, a little warm-up. that too tough. What do you say we crank it up a notch? Not bad. But it's more realistic if the target's packing iron. Quit standing around and take cover. You took a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. Head to the training area when you're good to go. Oh, look. Brought some tunes with him this time. You know what to do, Z. on the platform and we'll move on now we can get down to biz 
Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Yeah. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Target's Sandra Dorset. Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Calm the hell down, both of you. Almost there. Yeah, Bug. You focus. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomon. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Oh, Niz, Ugh, is I hate you? this life or death shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing Black Market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking.
slug in your back. No oh, way. Not neither. Hey, motherfucker! Ah! Rip up the shred! Where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Jesus fucking Christ. I think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Oh, this does not look good. She's in the tub of ice, crammed in with another. Fuck. Like slabs of meat. Keep it together, V. If she survives, she won't remember a thing. Her people who live through shit like... You'd be sipping a glass of ice cold. V, jack into her biomod. We need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Teen Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, sick. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Ah, oh, fuck! She's flatlined B, need to know what's Jackie, going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Hey, catch, what the? I think. Holy shit, it worked. Where a cabron? Get her outside. Where Get her out. Terrace. Five 
TT-133 to control. Patient NC-57044 secure. Stimulus being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 for brinogen. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's I gonna look for me? Only be hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. You're saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. Locking down Watson and Murphy. Oh, shit. Right? Focus on getting home.
Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes him so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. He's giving me a chance. Waiting. Mm, that's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. So you can be nice when you feel like it. When am I not nice? Always? I'm always never not nice. Dreams then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Hay luego. Get out of town before it's too late! Gotta be some kind of scam.
Oh, V. You get any sleep? No matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's bile mine. Don't know. Uh, neurovirus, sir. I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, B. We know you're in there! How'd you wind up here? This city. Piece of shit! Come on! Look, Junior, go back to where you came from. You know what the worst thing is about this Tina, eh? Well, that's different. That's, uh... Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. <laughs> Curious to see how he handles a life speed. Mark's waiting for it's daddy. Purrs after every shot now. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Thanks a lot. In the shade of an apple tree is a drama set in 20th century Ireland and is already considered a masterpiece of post-collapse literature. This has been your World Report. Thank you for tuning in to N54 News. Hello, it's time for your local news. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exquisite multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by B.Y. Virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. So, uh, are we going to talk about yesterday? It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. 
Except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there. Yeah, no biggie. Not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two chrome legs. What the fuck were you thinking? There's a reason Max Tack exists, you know. Civilians were in danger. What was I supposed to do? Just watch them get mowed down? Listen, you, me, and every fucking cop in this city might as well be a civilian next to Max Tack. The day they give us the gear they're packing, go right ahead. Be the hero. Save the fucking day. Yes? What's up? Man of the hour. <laughs> Jeez. Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. <laughs> this is something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both. Because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coupe. Our Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm -hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. It, Jackie. Our break. Dex needs friends. Needs us. We can use them. Amen, I say. It's a win-win. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but, uh, this whole deal? He's riding on you, I say. Are you? All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is all Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, man. Get Gracias, Dios. Lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. Rolling one. Let's feel this factory new. First stop, Ripper Duck, and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Yeah, this is it. 
Come on, V. Find me one fixed on dust in your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. But you are not the masters of your memory, Nick! For your eyes do not belong to you! Or rather, not only to you! Do you truly believe that those who have seen them out? mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to think through them? Oh, yeah? Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. But... Vicky's. Why is every old ripper? It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. V, 
feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Thanks for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Guard up, you idiot. Chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields. And avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride. For you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I call you. believe that those who have sold you, your mechanical eyes, have resisted the temptation to be... The number of cyber-psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me, for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber-psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds. But I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tap gets the scene. But remember, you're not here to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attack, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear.
Mr. B. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> It's me? first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. Sure. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one merited south of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway. Our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. 
Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. I want to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> Chingon. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground, sniff around. Hasta luego. out here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Fill what you know. Don't make me wait. No, -uh, not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there.
Look lively. Merit is stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Get your fucking hands off! Thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen, please. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> Him, you can let go. Want to hear what he has to say? I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck...
Ah, there you are. Let me hear what you squared away. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corporal buy. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'd be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. It had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. Your movie. Maelstrom? You just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. I want to talk to Royce. Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Ah, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. Just Minas Holmes. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle.
You got a bot. Model MT-0 D-1-2. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch. Planet. Dexter Deshaun. That's it. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> and yet, you dead? Nope. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? Creds on this. <sighs> hey, Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick for you, whatever the trick is. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! Shit, shit, shit! They're breaking in! Zero! Oh, rat! I'm on a beat! I'm on! Grab 
the gear. Bottom control shard. Quick! and controller. Let's go. The quicker the better. Well, let's get out of here. I'm dying. Production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. There's really no other way. Let's get out of here. 
Hit him, mano. Time's over! Down. 
didn't expect to see me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. You screwed me on this, almost got me killed. That wasn't a financial tracer. I fucked you over, you fucked a gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? Ultimately, the corp gets what it wants. Remember that. Learn it. Maybe a couple years down the line, you'll be standing where I am. Secure the area. Time we were on our way, Canal. Holy shit, V. I was sure we'd walk out in one piece. Think we're done. That's it. Yeah. I had enough for one day. Let me tell you. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. 
And Fatso ought to crack open a bottle for us after what we did for him today. Ahí luego, V. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there's trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits if you and Brick had shaken on him. How'd you get him on board? You used the corporal woman? Met with Stout. Managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. One thing Stout forgot to mention. The chip was carrying a virus. Oldest corpo trick in the book. I assume Royce was less than understanding. Virus attacked their systems. Scorched a handful of Maelstroms. I took care of the rest. You got some balls, Mr. V. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm -hmm. That meat's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Mark will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. <laughs>